we are almost absolutely totally dependent on oil for all of our activities. First of all, industry of course runs on oil. Everyone understands that. Agriculture, modern mechanised agriculture to feed the world uh, is heavily dependent on oil. More food comes from far distant places. We're basically moving more molecules faster to more places in greater quantity. And all of this moving of molecules takes a great deal of energy, and most of that energy is oil. El profesor universitario y economista Chris Sanders es un experto en el mundo del petróleo. También es asesor de algunos fondos de pensiones americanos que invierten en petróleo. La dependencia de esta fuente de energía le preocupa. La gente no comprende lo importante que es. No comprende que la agricultura industrial moderna es sencillamente un proceso que convierte la energía del petróleo en las calorías que consumen. Desde los fertilizantes que van a la tierra para que crezcan las plantas, hasta los paquetes de plástico que cubren la comida en los supermercados, es todo petróleo, petróleo y más petróleo. We expend about 10 calories of fossil fuel energy for every calorie of food energy that we produce. Now this would have been impossible in any earlier historical time before we had access to cheap oil. If, if we had been uh, expending more energy to grow food in the medieval era than the food gave us, we would starve. It's only because of this this one-time only gift from nature of fossil fuels that were created over millions of years and stored up and that we have been drawing down over the course of just a couple of hundred years that we're able to run these energy deficits in our food system. So we're enormously exposed in that area and, uh, and, and peak oil could in fact mean uh, widespread hunger and even famine on a global scale if we don't prepare for it and begin to transform our global food system to one that is not so dependent on fossil fuels. Mm -hmm.